by first taking the filtered waste vegetable oil and I put it in this tank back here which is in the trunk. And it's too thick to go through the engine just as it is. So I have to heat it up. And the way that it gets heated up is through coolant tubes here. This coolant tube is a tap off of the heater core which heats the cabin of the car. And um, this sends hot coolant from the engine all the way back here to the rear tank. And I insulated this rear tank to, tank to keep it warm. Meanwhile, inside this tube, there is another tube, which you can feel, that carries a bit waste vegetable oil back towards the front of the car. So the waste vegetable oil is getting warmed as, we go, as it goes towards the front, and it's warming up the waste vegetable oil in this tank as the coolant comes to the back. And there's a uh, heat exchanger in this rear tank to warm up the vegetable oil and then a return coolant tube, which brings it back towards the front. So this tube right here is that one that we saw with the waste vegetable oil going towards the front and the coolant going towards the back. And it had one filter back there by the tank and then a second filter here, which is actually a marine filter. It gets any final little particulates of water out before it goes into the engine. <coughs> so it goes into the marine filter and then it goes to this switch right here. Now you notice that all these tubes here are insulated because the fuel has to stay hot the whole mm -hmm. way. And when it gets to the switch here, this goes to a switch on my dashboard. So when I'm driving along and everything gets up to the right temperature, all I have to do is flick the switch and it converts from going on the diesel, or the biodiesel in this case, to the waste vegetable oil and then goes into the engine, combusts, and like most cars, it's got a return system because some fuel is going to be coming off of the injectors and around the injectors. And I don't want waste vegetable oil going to my regular tank, especially in the winter when things get really cold and things could freeze up. So there's actually a second switch down here which sends waste vegetable oil back into the loop or after I'm done, I switch it and it goes back into the regular tank if it's running on biodiesel. So the way that this works is, I drive for a little while, about 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, flick the switch, and it starts running on the waste vegetable oil, and then about 5 minutes before I get back, I get to where I want to go, flick it both, off, both switches off, and it purges the system, cleans everything out, so that the next time I'm ready to start, it'll start on the biodiesel or the diesel.